Everything as a service takes a business lens to your transformation of legacy assets. It allows you to improve things internally with more efficiency and effectiveness for your own organization. And the things that you create can be used elsewhere, either across your organization or even taken out into the marketplace. They provide immediate benefits, but also serve as a building block to springboard into further innovation and opportunity. So if you take a business lens to how you modernize your legacy assets, you can really move beyond a like-for-like -like refactorization or a particular product upgrade. And if you take that thinking one step farther into really looking and examining and optimizing the processes and the technology stacks that those sit on, you can transform them into services that can be used elsewhere in your organization. You see a couple versions of this even. One, if you're an ERP shop, there's a next generation of products coming out, and you're thinking about how to implement those and unleash the opportunity that's in there. The other side is with legacy code, COBOL, old databases sitting on mainframes. These are frozen in amber and, and very difficult to access with external systems. By refactoring these and turning them into Java or other things that live on open systems, you can connect in with all of your other developers to unleash the opportunities there. An example in the oil and gas industry involves an ERP upgrade. As part of that upgrade, they factored out their pricing services. Those pricing services, while also set free as web services that could be used for the original organization, became a service that was embedded elsewhere in the organization. So salespeople that are out in front of customers can use these pricing services in real time. All of the logic and the rules in the back end and the, the margins and the actual prices for products are updated in real time, so it completely changes their ability to interact with their customers. A CIO should care about this trend because it's already a conversation at the board level and among the C-suite. And treating this as an IT project paying down technical debt is not going to achieve the same results as taking a business lens and moving this opportunity and achieving the results that the business is trying to accomplish.